Love Museum is hosting Catherine Sarafian. She is a film producer and works at Pixar. Catherine, welcome to our booth. Thank Catherine, you are a well-known film producer. About the technologies, we are now having this very big event in Yerevan. And how have technologies shaped film production last day, last years? Oh, I mean, there's been so many advances. I love seeing the the line blurring between, you know, what is created and what is natural. In, and um, you can do anything. So I think it raises very interesting questions about just because you can do anything with the computer, should you? And so it's put a focus on what kind of stories to tell. And uh, I love the visual the possibilities that the computer allows us to, f to push a vision and, and the possibility to build a world that nobody could even imagine. Though there are lots of advantages of technologies in, in this matter, but don't you think that technologies have some disadvantages in the matter that the actors kind of don't, there is not much required of mis mastery from them and don't you think this is a disadvantage? You know, a, a lot of people uh, were worried um, through the years about every new technology um, making the human role obsolete. This is, I've heard this for many years from when uh, television came on the scene, they said no one will listen to the radio. When movies came on, no one will watch, you know, whoever, it, uh, there's, uh, television came and no one will watch movies, right? But people still watch movies. Um, it's, every evolving technology can push another technology forward and the, it changes the way a human role might be. I think in terms of the acting, the animation, um, we use human performers for voice acting. Our animators are human beings, they are performers. So they take the voice, they take a character, they move it, that builds performance. This is a human art, right? So I don't worry about the human becoming obsolete because the human is building it. The computer is a tool. The computer doesn't do the work, you know? Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I've convinced you. How do you assess the development in the Armenian film production? And do you have anything to suggest our film, film producers? Oh, recommendations for your film producers? Um, I think keep making Armenian stories, keep making universal stories. And uh, I know it can be difficult work. Making movies can be very, very difficult, but it's important work to tell stories, and so I say keep doing it, don't give up, and the distribution is so much, uh, so many more, mo more possibilities for distribution now with, you know, with the internet and YouTube, so it used to be the film would not get seen, now every film can be seen, so I think it's an exciting time. It's the third day of taking part in WCIT. What is the most appealing part to you and this? The most Be thrilling part? All seeing so many people from so many countries. I've heard 70, 60 or 70 countries are here. I get emotional seeing so many international um, visitors in Armenia, all, all converging around the same topic, you know, the center of technology. And I think Yerevan's been an amazing place to host this. I've never seen something of this scale here in Yerevan. This is amazing. And um, people are so excited and, and it's a seeing people, seeing our culture through the eyes of people all over the world and the way they are embracing this culture and the technology sector here and the advancements is just really exciting. So I, I love this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you. We are hosting Catherine Sarafian. Stay tuned to Museum.